What's good guys, your boy Hugo the Savage back again for another Savage Talk, it's WWE style. Something that's been on my mind so far, I talk to my people, to the fellow savages, to the gang, to the squad. You seen the title of the video. Bray Wyatt's Fiend, The Fiend, The Funhouse. Uh, I'm with the universe. It we are we love it. Now I don't seem I know I don't seem too upbeat on this video, but that's because sometimes things come into my head and then I start thinking of previous experiences on WWE and it worries me a little bit and I had to get it out. So a few people have been doing the rounds. I seen a a few tweets here and there. Um mainly everyone's talking about the Roman Reigns thing at the moment. And then I stumbled upon a tweet from I don't know who tweeted it, but it's in resting days replied and it said B Slayer, King Slayer, Fiend Slayer. I will tell you WWE. If the person who beats the Fiend is Seth Rollins, I will shut down the network. And believe me, the only thing I'll be watching is AEW. Okay? That cannot happen. I've had enough. That cannot happen. No way on earth. And I'm not saying Seth Rollins can never beat The Fiend. But but seriously. This is the best thing we've had in years. Years. Like, seriously. This is the best thing. we. This is how starved we are as WWE fans. We love the company. We've been starved of greatness. We've been given good stuff, but we have been starved of great WWE, the, the great experience, you know what I'm saying? Uh, not being starved of the wrestling in ring, but the experience, you know what I'm saying? Like, we all thought when we was little kids when we started watching WWE, we were watching it for the wrestling, but when you grow up, you realise it was all the theatrics around it and the wrestling. Because clearly, if you're great in the ring, it doesn't make you a great wrestler. Apollo Crews is great in the ring. But he just smiles. So we know that maybe I'm saying about 60%, 70% of your character is made up of you on the mic and what you do with the character and how you take it. Not what you do in the ring. Uh, because realistically, the best wrestlers, the ones who we all put up there in our top five wrestlers of all time, usually they are great. They are great in the ring, ring psychology and the way they move and stuff. But in terms of the move set and and the athleticism, what you can do in the ring. They haven't got it, most of them. Do you know what I'm saying? They have, they have the really... It's not to the most extreme level. And they'll tell you themselves. You know what I mean? We all lord... My my favourite wrestler of all time is The Rock. S quickly followed by Stone Cold Steve Austin. And both of their moveset, I know I'm off by heart. There's not many moves they do. But the ring psychology and the way they act and stuff is what got them there. A few people have got Ric Flair up there. Dead moveset. But what he does... And the ring psychology is perfect. You know what I'm saying? I think in, around my top five, only Kurt Angle. The yeah, only Kurt Angle is the one who is is the, got the super technical stuff going on. Um, but anyway, I don't want to go off tangent. Back to the fiend. They need to. I'm not telling people how to do their job. Clearly, they can do it better than me because I don't have a job in the WWE, and I'd love one. Uh, Actually, nah, scrap that. I might be able to do better, man. I might be able to book the thing better, but obviously there's a thing into writing in it because that's why I'm not in Hollywood and stuff like that. But for, the way I see it is Fiend's not going to come out at every single pay-per-view. Um, and I'm guessing that slowly they may introduce regular Bray Wyatt. You know, the one from the play, the, the fun house. Um, I'm not sure because it'd be cool just to see him on screen. But if they don't want to overuse the fiend and make it look, uh, you know, not special, then if they keeps coming out of raw and fighting someone, and then all the pay per views is a bit dead. Um, if he's ever gonna lose, which he's gonna lose at some point, I wouldn't have it until next year. And I'm about next year. He made SummerSlam probably. He made his debut at SummerSlam. I wouldn't have him lose until SummerSlam. Uh, and I probably would still have it. To Finn Balor. I don't think the next pay-per-view Finn Balor should come out as a demon. 
I think he should come out as regular Finn Balor. Um, because I don't think you just want to see the demon just get slaughtered straight away. Um, because that's pretty special to Finn Balor's character. If, if that makes any sense. We want to see the Fiend versus the demon. But we don't want to see one couple of weeks in from the Fiend being here. We want to see it as an experience. In fact, we want to see it at WrestleMania. Imagine that. Imagine the Fiend goes on this mad run for a whole year. It picks up the title on the way. Because Brock doesn't have it anymore, which means it's more accessible. He destroys all these people and then at some of the top names he destroys along the way. At WrestleMania next year, we get like a fatal four-way or something like that. Or just simply Finn Balor, well the Demon Finn versus Bray Wyatt's Fiend in the one-to-one. No hold bar, false counts anywhere and it can just go mad. It can just go mad, they can end up outside across the road somewhere, they could just go mad, yeah, because the Fiend's special to WWE right now, and he's, I don't want to be too extreme, but he's not holding everything together, but he's what's got us all drawn in, let's be honest, because before the Fiend and, and I'll give, and Paul Heyman taking over, I seen the comments, and I seen everyone's reaction, and everyone was just waiting for AEW, just waiting, 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 uh, and we can't have that, we can't have that. WWE is a great product. It's been great. It is great. It's part of my life. It's what I've grown up on. So I would never just turn my back on it. That was a little joke at the beginning. But the Fiend is special. We need him to tread carefully. Because to me, before the Fiend, Bray Wyatt and the Wyatt family was one of the best things we've seen ever. But they just kept burying him. and You can see the creative process wasn't all Bray then. It was, tr it was trying to be... He's trying to have the full creative process and then you can tell that Vince or somebody was saying, nah, just do this. You know what I mean? Um, and this one looks like he's got the whole creative process. And the fact that Paul Heyman's there, we don't even know what show the Fiend's on really. If he's on Raw, Paul Heyman will give him that license and we should have a great run. But I was just expressing the worries. The Fiend's great. Um... Yeah, I just think there can be great things. But you know. The best of stuff before. Vince. Yeah, yeah, yeah.